What's going on guys? So today we're going to show you how to fake it. We're going to do, do it on a cassette to start with. And then we're going to have a look on a free coaster as well. Um, start on the cassette because that's probably what most people are running. But you'll need, you can kind of do this anywhere. You're going to need maybe a slight uphill. Uh, it might help if you know how to 180 flat, but it's not necessary. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a quarter to go up and hop onto and then hop back into to give us the speed for the fakie. I'll do one now and then I'll come back and talk you through how to do it. Right, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do with the fakie is what most people kind of get, not scared, but they don't really wanna go quick on them. The thing with it is you've kind of gotta have a fair bit of speed to keep balanced. If you think about it, riding forwards, if you try and ride like really slow, it's kind of hard. But if you kind of go a little bit quicker, you can keep your balance a lot easier. So it's the same, the same applies to going backwards. So the trick to getting more speed is you want to go higher up the ramp. Um, you're going to get more speed from going up there as opposed to if you just ride up to there and then try and fake it out. It's going to be a lot harder to swing out of it because you have no momentum. So the first thing you want to aim to do is get right to the top in what's called a rock where your front wheel is over. And then whether you just roll back or you can hop back as well. So that's really the first tip that I can give you for a fakie. Oh yeah, so tip number two for the fakie is you're going to start coming back and you're soon going to find out that your pedals are going to move back with you unless you've got a free coaster. So on a cassette, what's going to happen is as soon as you start rolling back, the pedals are going to come back with you. What you need to do is, as they're going back, you need to pedal. See, if I pressure on them, it's just going to stop it. What you need to do is pedal back as you're going back, just ahead of where the pedals want to move by themselves. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a couple of examples. I'll go back pushing down on the pedals, so not moving quick enough, and you'll see what happens. I'll go too fast, and then I'll go just the right speed. So you can kind of see the difference and see where you need to be. So first one, I'm going to kind of crunch down on it and not back pedal that much. So that was too slow. Um, you weren't keeping up with the pedals. There's too much force. And you're just going to pretty much, by the time you get to the bottom, stop and go like that. This one, I'll go too fast. So if that works for you, maybe, but... Um, it's not really that efficient. So what you really want to do is a nice, calm, controlled pedal back just ahead of where the um, cassette's pulling the cranks. So I'll show you that. So the other important thing is, whilst you're in the fakie, you're gonna to need to keep your balance. It's like when you're riding forwards, you need to be balanced. Same thing happens when going back. Now, it's kind of personal preference as to where you're gonna sit over the bike. You can maybe lean a little bit more forwards, a little bit further back, but a good starting point is keeping most of your weight directly over the seat and keeping your arms quite loose, not tense or anything like that, just kind of not too loose that it gets kind of squirmy and out of control. Um, yeah, just try and keep them quite firm but uh, I'll show you different positions of where you can put your weight but again it's more personal preference but you'll see that it kind of makes sense to have your weight a little bit further back so this one I'll go all my weight forwards and you'll see it's almost impossible to hold it because yeah you just want to go over the bars coming back down so don't lean that far over um, I'll lean really far back this time so that might work, but really, I feel most in control when just kind of over the seat, and I, you, with your eyes, you kind of want to look down. You can look at anything, whether you're like looking at your stem. I look, personally, I look at my bottom bracket, but I feel that instead of moving your head around like that, you can just look and kind of be in control. And then if you need to look where you're going, Either, under, either arm or just over the shoulder a little bit. So I'll try and show you that with my weight all the way over the center. Like that. So the balance is kind of part of step two 
with the pedaling back. Step three is you now want to get out of it. So you'll be faking, and that's all well and good, but you need to turn around at some point. So there's a few ways to do this, uh, kind of style preference as to what one you like doing more. Each kind of have different kind of scenarios where you could use them, but I'll show you the very, the most basic one, I think, and the most common one that you should kind of start with that'll get you out of the um, fakie the quickest. But what you want to do is basically we're going to pedal back like that. This is our front foot. So we're pedaling back and then all of a sudden when our front foot gets back to there we're going to push and then pull up and kind of almost like you're doing a tire tap kind of thing on the ground it's just like you're kind of going that and with the momentum of the fakie that should pull you around so i'll show you one of those now it's kind of hard to explain but hopefully you can kind of see it So that's that one. So again, as your pedals are going around, what you want to do is then push down and kind of turn your wheel just a little bit. So as you're coming around, you kind of, you're coming back, you turn a little bit and then you push and pull around like that. So that's, that's the first way to get out of it. The next one is a half cab, which is basically a 180 hop going backwards. To do this, you probably want to know how to flat 180 it's kind of hard because you got to do the 180 backwards but I'll try and show you on this I don't normally ride the cassette but I reckon we can give it a shot basically to do it you kind of this one you need to come back and then give a couple of quick pedals to keep up with it and get your feet settled and then just hop and turn around like a normal 180 like turn your head and look over your shoulder so I'll try that one for you and then we'll move on to the last one So, so what I do there is it's kind of taking the idea of the first one where, again, you're coming back, but then what I do is I do a couple of quick pedals and then I crunch it. And this time, instead of pivoting off the back wheel, I turn and then I hop around, looking over my shoulder, whatever way you like to spin, and just sit it down and ride off. That one is quite hard. Again, you probably want to know 180s before doing that. But if you want to give it a shot, go for it. So we'll show you the last one now. Okay, so the last one's kind of, it's kind of a slider kind of motion. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to go up. Again, same deal. Up, back in. Your pedal will be moving back. And this time what you do is you kind of do the pedal back to get ahead of it. And then just give it a little turn that way or whatever way you want to turn. And then kind of drag the bike. So there's really no hop in it. You keep the front wheel on the ground. Put a little bit of weight over the back so that there's not as much friction on the front so it kind of lifts it up and then you just slide it around keep your weight kind of over the back and then leaning the way you turn and then you just drag it around this is probably the hardest of all of them just because you need a little bit more bike control just to kind of find that balance point where the wheel's going to slide and not dig so i'll try and show you one of those now So after that pathetic attempt at a slider on a cassette, I'll move on to the free coaster bike. Or well, not bike, sorry. Free coaster, so it's just the back hub. Now, faking is kind of the same, but kind of not. The difference here is you don't pedal back when it rolls back. So you can see the wheel going back, but my pedals are moving. Um, this is good for backwards tricks or tricks where you're landing backwards quickly but um i'll talk you through the three or the main step again i'm going to show you the three fakies on this and hopefully that'll help you out maybe some of you are on a free coaster so again again step one is we're going to go right to the top of the corner same we're going to rock hop this time you won't be pedaling back the trick here is we're going to skip, kind of, skip the pedaling back kind of section and just focus on balance. You need to focus on balance here. Uh, again, the quicker you go, the easier it's going to be. 
it's like riding the bike forwards it's easier if you go that little bit quicker same applies i think especially with a free coaster so i'll try and talk you through it i'll do it and then we'll have a look we're gonna go up like that now it is a lot quicker because you can't slow yourself down too much by putting pressure on but what i think you need to do is just Keep that same balance point over the seat or wherever it is. Keep the arms straight, um, quite locked off. The thing with the free coaster is, I think because you're going that little bit quicker, you don't want to be jerky in the front end. If you do a really quick jerk motion, you're going to wipe out pretty bad because you will be going that little bit quicker. So kind of keep it at minimal movements um, at the front end, kind of stiffen up the arms a little bit. But then other than that, it's just the same idea as the cassette where your balance is. The only thing that's now going to change is when we get to getting out of them. It's a little bit different because we don't have that pedal pressure. So I'll try and show you now how to get out of these. So really the first one, we can't do that pedal pressure push to get out. So the equivalent on this, I think, is as you're going back, you'll do the same thing where you turn and pull up and then just pull it around on the back wheel. You can't rely on the pedal pressure to be there. So I'll try and show you that. It is a little bit harder, I think, but it, once you do it, you should be pretty comfortable with it. So we'll show you one of those now. That one. Again, it's the same as that first one on the cassette, but you haven't got the pedal pressure. So you just got to lift up, pivot it around on the back wheel, keeping your head turned, whatever way you spin, and then just pull it around. The next one is a half cab. I find it a little bit easier on this because you don't have to catch the pedals up to do the hop. So I'll show you one of those and then we'll move on to the last one. All right, I'm gonna try and redeem myself now with a slider that was bigger than that. So it's the same idea, up, down. You wanna free turn and then keep it low, a little bit of weight over the back so it just skims across. So we'll try and show you that. Maybe. Okay, so that's how to fake you. Hopefully it's helped you guys out. Stick with it. It is a little bit tricky to start with, but once you get it, it's something that's really consistent. Uh, leave any comments below if you need help with them, or if you've got any questions. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. There, over my face. Um, we've got stickers now again, so if you see us at the skate park, come up to us. We'll be more than happy to give you some stickers. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.